the easy way to tell, you know, they try to make it seem like they're coming from a legitimate source, step one. So is it coming from a legitimate source? It says it's coming from an Outlook notification. Okay, well, if it's coming from an Outlook notification, like it claims, why is the email address massacom at valdosaurus.mschosting.com? Um, they're going to do their best to try and take a domain name, that being the last before the .com part here. This would be the domain the MSC hosting to make it seem close to what they're saying they're coming from. So they're going to try and seem close to Microsoft. So they might misspell Microsoft or say MicrosoftBusiness.com or something. So you always have to be careful and check the actual email address, not the from, because this is where it's actually who it's actually coming from. And in this case. Outlook notification and this email address have nothing to do with each other. This is, you can already tell, it's a very bogus email address, Valdosaurus. So that right there should throw up a, ref, a red flag. The second thing is, is where is it actually trying to send you? You know, usually most spam filters will uh, take out all the viruses and uh, all the malicious content in these emails. So now what they want to get you to do is click on a link to take you to their bogus website. So where are they trying to send you? And if you hover over a hyperlink in any of these emails, you're going to see that it's going to show you where it's going to send you. So in this case, resolve password abnormalities is actually going to send you to berlinshooting.de, some you know out of country website where who knows what it's going to have you do. It looks like it's going to queue up some kind of email. So you know by hovering over it, you very immediately see this is a bogus place it's going to send me to. It's coming from a email address that has nothing to do with what it claims to so always really take a look make sure everything's spelled and makes sense from the from hover over the link it's trying to send you to make sure that that actually ties in and that again you know where it's sending you is spelled correctly it looks like it's legitimate and it's actually the source that it's claiming to be because as you can see here it's very easy to find out if you just look at these two steps the from and uh, hover over the hyperlink all right, guys, if you have any other questions or want uh, to learn any more, just shoot me an email and I'll be happy to answer anything you've got.